Here we go with the TiVo Tornado unboxing and build. Put in the screws at the bottom, four screws. Put in the side brackets. This attaches the top extrusion to the bottom. Set up the control box, the limit switches that connect the control box. I cleaned off the plate a little bit right there. Get the filament coming out and Oh, that's an example of a common issue. I'll talk about that later. Now here I forgot to connect one of the uh, stepper, the X stepper motor, so it's just going back and forth. And then here, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm connecting it there. All right, here we go. Now it's now it's working. We're creating a spool holder this is like a default file on uh, that comes should come on every SD card of every TiVo tornado and after a while it's going to create a spool holder all right, all right it took five and a half hours and the spool holder is complete here's our spool holder Alright, I just want to go over a couple things with the TiVo Tornado's common issues and um, fixes. So, the most common issue, and this is kind of a defect in the, in the recent edition of the TiVo Tornado, is the glass plate breaks. Now, this happens during shipping, so you have to be really careful with these. These are salvageable um, if you do a certain thing. So, yep, I got this. This is an aluminum plate from a local metal store it's 14 by 12 inches and 0.09 inches thick wearing gloves you can peel off the glass and there will be enough stickiness on this orange heater pad to stick and then you can use uh, stick the aluminum and then you can use the aluminum plate which works great actually other common issues are hammering you'll hear like a large hammering uh, noise, which means that the limit switches either are broken or something's blocking the axis and isn't able to hit the limit switch. Yeah, other issues are sometimes you'll hear a noise from this fan. It just means that this guard here is rubbing against the fan itself, so you can pry this out with like a little screwdriver. Um, when you're laying a bead, with, with the, this should be pretty tight, this is a little bit loose. When you're laying a bead with the nozzle here, down on the, on the glass plate, the bead should be wider than it is tall. And uh, so you lay the first, you know, bead or trace or whatever you want to call it. And um, other than that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You don't want the nozzle to be up in the air, but you don't want it to be tight on the bed either. It has to be like right in between. Alright, hope this helps. Take care.